Is this the world's most powerful guitar pickup? Let me show you how and why I made this and then I'll show you what it sounds like. Everybody knows that more means more. When shopping, we are blind by offers. Extra free, buy one, get one free, 30% extra more. More has come to mean better. So I've been making pickups for an electric piano and then this idea hit me. I was eating my favorite meal, waffles and beans. And then more is more. So how do we deliver more? So first, more magnets must mean more sound. Second, we're going to add a few more coils of wire. And then third, we're going to make the coils even bigger. So I've created this design in CAD. This is a standard Stratocaster's configuration of three single coil pickups. Now let's remove the neck and middle position pickups. And this couldn't be the space that we're going to try and work in. We've designed a very uniquely shaped pickup bobbin for this. So instead of having six magnets, we've got 66. And instead of 7,000 coils of wire, we have 10,000. The area of the coils increased five times. This approximately makes it a hundred times more powerful than a standard single coil pickup. So yes, we're going to have to try this. So let's print this. So after a few hours in the printer, look at this bobbin. It is beautiful. If you put this next to a single coil pickup, you can see how different it looks. And if you put it next to a standard bobbin from a humbucker, oh my, what have we done? Next, we need to wind this. I've created a special winding machine to do this. It's a stepper motor and has an Arduino that counts the number of steps. And then we just need to insert some magnets. We need to make sure that the same orientation. Okay, so this is starting to look beautiful. I think we've created the world's first waffler pickup. I want you to guess how you think this will sound. Have I made a design flaw? There might be a reason that nobody tried this. I'd be curious to know in the comments of what you think. But we've made a pickup. Now we need to try it in a guitar. So we need a donor guitar. No, I mean more chosen one. So I recently got hold of this Squire Stratocaster. It's got a nice skunk stripe in the neck. It's from 2004 and I think it would be perfect. So let's strip it. To install this pickup, we need to remove the strings and the current electronics. We know the cavity for the current pickup won't fit this new pickup size. So we're going to have to remove some wood. Apart from this, a small bit of weight relief, all the changes will be reversible. If for whatever reason this pickup design isn't the revolution the guitar world has been crying for, we can put it back to stock. I've created this donor scratch plate as well and I've cut a hole out ready for it. So let's get this built back up and see what it sounds like. So while putting on some new strings, you can see how strong the pull of the magnet is. We've got the string not as tight as what it needs to be, but look at that bend. This is a sign of power and greatness. Okay, let's plug it in.
Did this match what you expected? Would you do something differently? Do we need stronger magnets? Do we need more turns? Or, or do we need to go even bigger? I'd love to know what your ideas are and changes you'd make. And then subscribe to see where we take this.